Hey guys, what's going on? We have some news going on for Dokkan Battle. Um, it's going to be for the JP side, actually. This has to do with the LR Bardock, uh, the new JP download with Lord Slug, all that information. So if you already know about that, this really isn't a video for you. Um, I will be going over the new cards, at least the TUR and the LR variants of them, uh, and a couple of the free-to-play cards, but I'm not going to do a full in-depth review from like SSR to TUR to LR. I'm going to save that for a different video when I do a team building guide when that becomes available on Dokkan Battle builder uh, hopefully i'll be able to get a video out for you this weekend with that information but until then uh, feel free to jump on to dbz.space or the dokkan battle wiki for that information uh, while saying that shout out to the wiki shout out to uh, dbz.space um, and shout out to the reddit right now because that's all on the information i'll be using uh, in terms of what i'm going to be going over so first things first for the jp side top grossing jp rewards announcement awards announcement uh yeah so a reward award whatever <laughs> we're going to be getting some information some stuff from the jp side we became a top grossing um also on global we also became top grossing in certain countries maybe we can get some of that up for the global because of that um if so stand by maybe we don't need to purchase some stones i would still like to do uh an, an another multi summon on that ui banner uh, I still, I did two off camera. If you want to go check out my Twitter, uh, I did post up some Twitter summons. I did two multis on there on one video. So uh, you can go check that out if you really want to. Uh, I would really like to do another one. I really want an Ultra Instinct Goku, <laughs> you know, um, or that Frieza because those are the two units that I really, really want to have hardcore. But uh, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. But yep, so that, that's what that's information's about. Uh, we did have the V Jump leak for those of you who are who didn't hear about it. Uh, we have the future Gohan incoming. Uh, that's awesome information. It's just because I know a lot of people have wanted a future Gohan, and the old one that we had was like, I don't know, like four metas old. Uh, that's the old tech one. Uh, we have now a new physical one, and we have information about the uh, tech cell EZA. So, Cell's finally getting an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, I don't think there's any information here. This is all the information that I have. Um, but yeah, so according to this, shout out to Koala Sun Z. Um, so end of May, future arc, uh, arc, future arc, future arc category. That's going to be the Gohan leader ability. A few events will appear where future arc category characters will be useful. Uh, that's like um, uh, I actually don't know. I think I know he's going to be useful in the EZA for Cell. Um, so that's that's good information. Uh, that you know that also brings into play. Maybe the Cell will be part of that category. Um, that's the future Gohan Dokkan event is coming as well. Uh, yeah, 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 so and perfect cell EZA. Uh, we're gonna get the physical SSR Super Saiyan future Gohan and another future uh, can be attained from Dokken Fest and will Dokken wake into physical TUR um, Gohan. So that's gonna be awesome. I don't know what this is all about. Oh, page not found. Oh, well. Um, and Tech Perfect Cell is going to be getting his EZA. There's no other information as of this time of the stats or anything else like that. When that information comes, I will do my best to get that out to you ASAP. Um, for the stuff that did come out two days ago. Um, I didn't do it yesterday because yesterday and today I have been re-rolling my stupid Dragon Ball Legends account because I did check out the Reddit and I'll, I'll probably do a video on this. I, I'm definitely going to be bringing Dragon Ball Legends to the channel. Um, but uh, in order for in Dragon Ball Legends, uh, Piccolo and Vegeta right now are the current top tier units that you want to have on a team. Um, I'm, I got this from a Reddit post from the Legends. I know this isn't really a Legends video, but I've been re-rolling to try and get the Piccolo and the, um, and the Vegeta. Uh, a substitute for the Vegeta could be Paiku Han or, or Paikon, uh, and, uh, or the Super Saiyan Goku. But remember, Super Saiyan Goku will be a gift when you hit level 20, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, that's for another video. Uh, new cards for the JP data download on 5.16 are going to be the physical LR Bardock. Um, actually, that should be live now. The uh, free-to-play TUR Strength Kaioken Goku. That means Kaioken Gokus are now farmable, so if you have the Kaioken Gokus, you do not have to use Elder Kai's on them if you want, like, like actually want them to have a Super Tech 10. Uh, Free-to-play Tech SSR Slug, Physical SSR Slug, uh, TUR Slug is Dokkan variant, and Free-to-play Intelligence Kid Gohan. Uh, no fall Super Saiyan Goku. Um, I know some people had wanted that. Uh, and we have some missions. This is going to be like an event event. Uh, so you're going to actually use the... Um, the Namek, cat, the Namek Saga category uh, in order to get more drops. And apparently you can get a lot of good drops over there. Um, we're going to go over that. Yeah, we're going to go over that. We don't need to go through that right now. Um, so yeah, the, the buff category percentages on the slug event. Um, on this team, this guy has, let's see, uh, Boobaloo. <laughs> uh, Ultra Rare Slug on top. Two LR Piccolo. Um, TUR Demon King Young uh, Piccolo. TUR... Demon King Old Piccolo, uh, Giant World Tournament Piccolo, TUR Kami, ab ability to drop 230% 
bonus when running on the event. So that's pretty damn awesome. So that's if you have all the cards, obviously. A lot of them are going to be world tournament oriented. Uh, I actually have all of those cards, so I'm very happy about that. But it's not on the JP side. I have them on the global side. So when it comes to global, I'll, I'll be ready to go. Um, but yeah, so that's all the information about Lord Slug. We're going to go over the units now. So if this is what you guys have been waiting for, we're going to go over them. This is the free-to-play Flappy Wings Gohan kid. This is like really young kid Gohan. Um, leader abilities, hybrid Saiyans, category key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Wow, that's really ridiculously like, <laughs> well, he's free-to-play. Um, super attack is Masenko, extreme damage and lowers attack. Um, passive skill, high-pitched whistle. Damage received minus 30%, all allies attack plus 20%. Okay, that's actually, that's not that bad. Eh, that's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Uh, Link's, I mean, free to play. He, uh, whatever. Link skills are the innocent, Saiyan warrior race, on the family, and the Saiyan lineage. Uh, hybrid Saiyan category, and 12 key multiplier, 130%. We're not going to go over the stats on all the units, because we want to try and keep this video a little bit shorter. At least not on, on the free to play units. Um, the next one is going to be the Budding Evil Power Slug. So this is the free-to-play variant of him. So you can actually get him from the event. We're actually going to... You know, let me open up the event. We'll talk about the event in a minute. Um, leader abilities. Namekian category key plus 3. It's HP plus 70%. Attack and defense plus 50%. Now, mind you, this is the free-to-play one. So you can get him and use him um, as the a leader in this event if you want to get more drops. Um, he'll at least give some good buffs without having the actual, you know... Uh, summonable one uh super attack is a darkness twin star supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense actually you know, that's a little bit ridiculous uh, another really good tech unit for free to play passive skill eternal youth attack and defense plus 50 percent recovers 30 percent when hp is 30 percent or below so for a free to play unit <clears throat> you will get some hp regeneration that's really nice link skills are the mechians Nightmare, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, and Brutal Beatdown. And he's part of the category Movie Bosses and Namekian. Okay. Um, he has... Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're not going to go over stats in there. 12 key multipliers, 135%. And that also means that he is that he will farm and feed into the other Lord Slug. Um, so, actually, that's going to be the... Actually, no. He, does he go into the Lord Slug? Uh, let's see over here. Yeah, he does go into the, the Lord Slug. So, uh, before you Doken Awaken, your Lord Slug increases super attack with him. Uh, in terms of the event, it's Super Saiyan Goku. Here it is. I guess it's kind of false Super Saiyan. I mean, I guess it's, it's actually Kaioken, but still. Um, it looks like the Kid Gohan's going to drop from level 1. The Slugs are going to drop from level 2. Uh, the Kaioken Gokus are going to uh, drop from level 4. Um, Namekian, the evil Namekian warrior, the Lord Slug medals will be level 5, and level 6 will be the Kaioken medals. A uh, whole bunch of mission rewards over here. I mean, um, all you have to do, 500 Lord, uh, Lord Slug troopers get an Elder Kai, a physical Grand Elder Kai, uh, the medals, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, you can go over here, pause it if you want to, if you want to read through the mission rewards. It's inside game, in game. Um, so yeah, that's all that information about the event. Um, I know they have the Kaioken Goku over here. We'll go over him next. He's technically free to play, but I'm going to go over all of his information because I'm kind of excited about it. Combined Prowess of Symmetry, Goku Kaioken. Uh, leader skill is Pure Saiyans category, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack Kaioken. Uh, greatly raises attack, causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, Piccolo's Power. Interesting. Um, attack plus 40%, additional key plus 3, and attack plus attack and defense plus 50% when HP 70% are below. I am not a big fan of that uh, when it's, uh, that passive at all. Uh, I mean, it's cool. It's a 90% attack buff, but you need to have HP below 70%, which is a pain in the butt to keep maintain. really is. So um, once you start dropping below 70%, you're really looking to most likely the next turn use the Sensu Bean. Well, not really like below 70 but it... it if you if he appears when there's 70 percent um of your health after that round it's we're probably gonna end up using a sense of being we'll see what i don't know i guess it really depends on the event but i don't like it link skills are all in the family say in lineage z fighters shocking speed over in a flash and shattering the limit category is pure saiyans max stats are going to be hp of 69 55 attack of 82 60 and defense of 43 23 that's actually really crappy, crappy, but I mean, he's free to play. Uh, links. 12 key multipliers, 140%, greatly raises attack, is 50% buff. So that's really awesome. So that's the TUR code Goku Kaioken. Uh, you just go ahead and feed him in <clears throat> to your other Kaioken Gokus if you want to increase their super attacks. Um, next is going to be the dreaded Super Namekian Slug Giant. Uh, he does Doken Awaken from Slug, regular Slug. Um, so we're just going to talk about him, though. His leader ability is Giant Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, or Physical Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. That's honestly not that bad. I mean, Giant is a really crappy category, in my opinion. But uh, HP Attack and Defense plus 120% for a Giant category, if you like Great Apes, that's pretty awesome. 
Um, plus, he has Namekians. You could always pair him with the World Tournament pick, although they will link very well together. Uh, Darkness Eye Beam, or they should anyway. We'll talk about that in a team building guide. Uh, Supreme Damage greatly lowers defense. <sighs> uh, passive skill Legendary Super Namekian. Attack and defense plus 80%. Okay. Additional attack plus 50% for 5 turns went after receiving an attack. Medium chance turning giant two times. Huh. So that's actually... I kind of like that, but... Uh, I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's interesting to me. Uh, I mean, I, I can see you running him for fun. Uh, the, Namek, the the giant category lead isn't something people are really going to run often. I think there's only two really good cards. I know one of them is the Bardock. I think the other is the Turles when they Dopen Waken. I know Bardock does attack plus 100%. I think it's the Turles that does like a 70 or 80%, something like that. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. But I, other than those two cards, uh, I mean, you're really not having any really heavy hitters on that team. Uh, let me know, you know, again, when I do my team building guide, I'll definitely go more in depth with it with you guys, but at least that's just off the top of my head what I'm thinking. Link skills are Metamorphosis, Namekians, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Nightmare, Shattering Limit, and Transform. So, you know what, at least they did give him some good Link skills, for the most part, for villains. Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, and Nightmare, specifically Nightmare and Big Bad Bosses are really good Link skills. Shattering the Limit, it kind of sucks that there, there's, he does not doesn't have Fierce Battle, but it's cool. Um, and Transform, obviously, on that team, everyone's going to have Key Plus, too. Uh, in terms of categories, Movie Bosses, Giant, and Namekian, that's you know, kind of given there. Um, I, I mean, he doesn't really fit into anything else. So even on a Mono Extreme physical team, he doesn't really link with anyone that well. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think he's a very unique character for very specific purposes. He, he's going to be fun to run along with. But at the same time, like you're never going to really, at least in my opinion, you're never going to bring him on main events or major events with those teams. It, it looks like it, it's just more uh, for fun at this point in time. Um, let's see. So max stats are going to be 9134 HP, attack of 8344, and defense of 4351 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Um, his additional attack, attack plus 50%, is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 170% for five turns after receiving attack, only once per battle. Okay. So, uh, support units, passive skills uh, would be added for initial calculation of, of attack plus 80%, meaning that they'll also benefit from the additional attack boost. Um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, well, I think that was... I don't know, his, his additional attack plus 50%, um... I think that, I think they may misspoke when it came, when it came down to that, because it's additional, so that's 130%, they're saying 170% here. I think that was a typo on the, on the actual uh, thing. If, yeah, yeah. Anyway, when he goes giant, destructive damage to the enemy, giant Namek mode, same category buffs, but he only has a 40,000 attack base. Um, that's about it. So, um, last but not least, let's see over here, we have the LR Bardock, and this is separate from the Lord Slug event. It's on the same banner, though. Uh, so, Shining Life in the Cosmos Bardock. Now, I'm very disappointed in this character in terms of his passive skill, but let's talk about him. Um, there, there was a saving grace in it. Physical type leader ability is uh, phys super physical, key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 100%, which is, you know, we understood. I kind of understood that. Extreme type is key plus 2 HP attack and defense plus 70%. You know, we knew that one was coming. Uh, super attack, final spirit cannon, uh, 12 to 17 key. Saiyan spirit, 18 plus key. Um, his, so, his uh, th final spirit cannon... Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage to the enemy. Um, his Sane Spirit causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and seals super attack. Um, I'm a little bit mixed on that. I, I kind of have mixed feelings myself, uh, but let's go on. Passive skill, changing fate, attack and defense plus 70% at the start of the turn, an additional 30% when performing an ultimate attack. Key plus 4 when facing one enemy and defense plus 60% when facing two or more enemies. Um... Leader, I mean, Link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepared for Battle, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Categories are Low Class Warrior and Pure Saiyans. And uh, he has stats of HP of 13,713, Attack of 16,295, Defense of 10,400. Base dupe system is HP of 15,713, Attack of 18,295, and Defense of 12,400. His max stats, he's reaching 19,000 for HP, 21,000 for attack and defense of 15,000 flat. That's actually not that bad. It's a really good um, in terms of stats. So his stat stats are, like, they are LR status, obviously. Um, they're, I think they're a little bit, they're really good. They're really good. 
Uh, maximum super attack level is 20, which increases super attack multiplier by 30, additional 30%. Greatly raises attack for one turn is 50% to super attack multiplier. Uh, his additional attack plus 30% is calculated separately for a total of 121% when performing an ultimate. Okay, there's a saving grace. Um, slightly higher if flat boost from link skills are also factored in. Support units passive skills would be added to the initial calculation of attack plus 70%, meaning they'll also benefit with the additional attack boost. 12 key multiplier is 150%, 24 key is 200%. Now, when he first came out, I was not thrilled when I read that it was going to be an additional attack plus 30% because I thought it was only um, under specific conditions. That gives him attack plus 100%, but apparently the additional 30% is, fa is factored in afterwards, so it will be giving him what is effectively 120% buff, which is really nice. Um, and then you also have the Greatly Raises attack now. See, I wonder what... Because this does Mega Colossal, but you don't get the attack buff. So, which one does more damage? At what point does Mega Colossal do more damage than Colossal with the attack buff that it gets? If it does that at all, or if Mega Colossal is always outranking it. Um, I kind of feel like they should have switched the two of these. Um, my personal opinion. Um, I feel like if you, you seal from 17 to, or from 12 to 17 and 18 plus, you get a greatly raise his attack because then you're doing a monstrous amount of damage. But uh, that's my opinion. I really like Bardock when he comes to the global side. I really hope I can pull him. Bardock's one of my favorite characters. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's all the information about that. One good thing, one cool thing about this is he's part of the pure Saiyans category. I'm just going to talk about it real quick. Um, in terms of LRs, I mean, we have we have a full LR pure Saiyan category team now. I mean... Uh, you have LR Majin Vegeta, LR Broly, LR Goku, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Bardock, and those are the really good ones. I mean, all of them are really good. The LR Super Saiyan Goku, not so much as he's very old school, but like you can run the Vegeta with his full freaking team right now, and you're you're pretty oh that's OP, man. These guys are hitting hard, you know what I mean? Like, and just having that leader ability to bring them all together on one team is freaking phenomenal. Um, I guess you can I, I you know what? I'll talk about that in a team building guide one day. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all the news and information about the cards that are there. Um, I'm I'm kind of hyped about them. I mean, th it's cool. I'm going to love the event when it comes out. It keeps things a little bit fresh and new. Uh, it's nothing game-breaking. The LR Bardock's cool. I wish he would have come out earlier, sooner in the game. I would have loved more game uh, gameplay with him. I don't think, by the way, I'll, I'll probably do a separate video on this too. I don't think Legends is going to overtake Dokkan Battle because it's completely separate gameplay, game style, and, and the way everything works. But I don't see Dokkan Battle having a long life because we've done all the content already, unless they start remaking all the content. But again, that's a topic for another day, so if you guys have any opinions about that, let me know down in the comments below as well. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace out.